Hello and welcome to the video. Today we will be looking at, for my 100 subscribers special, what tech do I use every day? This, this is at this very moment on the 1st, no, 29th of the 1st, 2022. So, start from the smallest thing. KB Ear KS1. These are amazing headphones, and it costs very much. Way better than the Apple ones I used to have. I've got these ear tips on it, which are just cheap ones from an old headphones that I just put on there because they were so much better than the ones that came with it. I've got ones on the way that are at memory foam. But and also this cable is really it's one of these wind up ones that you can untwist. This is my phone, the Poco X3 NFC with this. With this rather snazzy red case. It's in blue, it's got everything. The reason I have this is because it's got a very quite good camera quite fast, 120 hertz screen, and it's with really good value. The only thing I don't like about it is basically nothing. It's perfect really. There are things wrong with it, but not things that I would complain about for 300 pounds. I don't know. Next, this is the DFI XL running. Wait for it to boot up. Looks fine now. Wait for it. It's running Twilight firmware, so I can run games off the SD card rather than having to fill around with game cards. I can't say that I own all of the games, but I own most of them. All the ones that I play most, quite a lot. <sighs> it's basically just a DS with a massive screen and some cameras and no uh, game, uh, game Boy slot. But apart from that, it's very nice. I don't really, I didn't really use the game Game Boy slot because I don't really have any. Let's turn this off. There we go. Oh yeah, and also the um, toilet menu does not respect the sleep when you should turn it off. It just doesn't sleep. And I've also got this new pen, which right, I only just got because it didn't come with a pen when I bought it. I only just got this console, so that, that the review of this will be coming soon. And there's the Nook Glow Light 3. I used to use a Kindle, but as you can see, it's completely broken. So I bought one of these. But the thing is, they only sold these. They only sold these in America. So they don't they don't have the right time, it sometimes crash. But apart from that, it's way better than a look simple touch I was using in between the two. Screen refreshes quite quickly. And I've already I've already rooted it. It only cost about two weeks ago. And I'm reading The Road to Little Dribbling by Bill Bryson. It's a decent book. It's not it depends what you like. It's a little bit flimsy, but apart from that, it's okay, it works. And this is a very good thing, kind of, it's an Acer Chromebook R13. 
it's a little bit a little bit used you can see when i open it up kind of kind of rub all the paints and scratch and stuff but that shows it's been loved don't buy this mainly because it's out of date and also because way better things are available like the Lenovo Duet 5 the Acer Cranbook 513 with the Companio chip <coughs> that's probably going to be coming in about half a year I think I might get one of those in the next Black Friday See, I've had my COVID vaccination, but this, the only thing I've wrong with this, apart from like the screen and the trackpad, but apart from that, because the trackpad is kind of okay, is that it's really slow, and you have to factory reset it every, every, I'm going to say, half a year, because it, it just has some sort of weird bug, and it doesn't want to work anymore, it just, infuriating but it's, it's 360 degrees but I don't find I use this very much because it's a little bit awkward because you have to go like that I might probably just watch it on my phone and what's really cool about this is you can have it upside down plug it into a projector and just use it as like a, a thing without with things without the screen you just need to turn down the brightness and you can just use it like that Obviously you don't have an external display plugged in, but that's cool. But I think that's it. I also forgot to mention my watch. This is an Amaze Fit Bip from about two years ago. It's all scrunched up, but I still use it because it's better than anything that's, anything that's even come out now. Fairly standard watch. This can do anything else, any, any 200 pound watch, but except this is 50 pounds. Plastic on the back. Got the heart rate sensor, charging, screen, always on display, transflective LCD. You can't see it past like, these viewing angles, but it's still better than having nothing. But you could still turn the backlight, do things with it, and you can do it else. Still, thank you for 100 subscribers. Thank you for 100 subscribers, and you did this. Bye.